Hey everyone, I'm David and welcome back to Mailbag Season 2, I guess? It's been a while since we've done a Mailbag video and it's just been mostly my fault. I'd like to thank everybody who's continued to send mail in even though there's been an absence of videos. I have some stuff dating back to December, so we're gonna start there, work our way through mid to late January, and then uh, the next video we'll pick up from there till we're caught up. A little bit of business news though. For those of you who don't know, which most of you probably do, I have started a Kickstarter to raise money for my first album, and you guys have just done an amazing job in uh, pitching in and pledging to help me get fully funded for this thing. So far we're at 32%. Um, I think the actual count, let me check. We just started this Kickstarter on Monday and as of right now we're at 98 backers with $7,141. Wow. This is only 32%, so if you guys have not contributed yet, please take a look at the rewards and uh, see what you guys can offer. And uh, I think we can get this thing fully funded. And have this really cool Ocarina album that we all made together, so. There'll be a link in the description. There's probably a link around here you can click. It'll open up in another page and you're good to go. All right, now let's jump into some letters. So I think the first thing I have, let me see. Well, first I'm gonna start off with this. So uh, I got this postcard from Ben of a cat playing ukulele on in Hawaii. Cause that makes a lot of sense. And it says, Good day, Dave. No questions. Just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Year, and hope your dreams for the new year come true. Eat, drink, and be merry, Ben. P.S. You need to research Tim Tam Slam. Trust me, all will become clear. Okay, then. Thank you very much, Ben. I did have an awesome Christmas. So far, a pretty good new year, and I'm working on the dream part with this Kickstarter. Plug. I hope you also had a very good Christmas and a good new year, and... Hopefully everything is going pretty good so far. Ben actually also sent me a package uh, in January, so let's pick up from there. And the first things are Tim Tams. So that's what you mentioned on the postcard. I've never heard of such things, so I will check these out in a second. Another carton of Tim Tams. They look delicious. Vegemite. I have heard about Australians living off this stuff. Probably a rumor, but I've always been curious about this. That is awesome. All right, there's more stuff, but I'm gonna open up this letter first before I pull anything else up. Good day, Doc Jazz. Wrote you a letter, but somewhere between Sydney and LA, it seemed to have lost it. Oops. Back to it. You probably had a look through the contents of the package. There should be this letter, an instruction guide for Tim Tam Slam. Cool. A paracord key lob. Yep, that's cool. I like the colors too. Two packets of Tim Tams and a tube of Vegemite. All things are awesome. I'm particularly fond of the Vegemite. It takes some getting used to though. I would recommend trying it on toast in very small amounts. The Tim Tams, however, definitely have a read about the slam before having a go at them. I'm also wondering, did my postcard make it to you? Yes, I just read it a couple seconds ago. While I have you busily reading through, I was wondering, I got a dragon tooth for Christmas and loving it, and noticed that the sub holes are both on the right hand. After checking out 12 hole tabs on the internet, I was wondering if there, if the use of sub holes in the 12 hole sweet potato and that of the dragon tooth very different? Yes, uh, there's two different styles of, of sub holes for 12 hole ocarinas. One is where you have them on each hand, as you mentioned, and then the one that you have them on the right hand. But when they're on the right hand, we call them Japanese style, and when they're one for each hand, we call them Taiwanese style. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's just what we notice, or that's what we refer to them as. So it's really a thing about comfort. Um, we found that people who have uh, smaller fingers tend to prefer the Japanese sub holes, whereas people who have longer fingers tend to prefer the Taiwanese sub holes. It's a matter of preference. I took, uh, personally started off liking with the Japanese sub holes because that, that was the first style that I, got, I had. But then as I played more with the Taiwanese, I found out that my longer fingers played that a little bit easier. So it's a matter of preference. Songbird likes the Japanese style. 
Anyway, I just wanted to thank you for all the time you've given and continue to give to inspire and guide us off newbies to keep up our practice. Looking forward to the anime songbook. I hope you enjoy these typically Australian goodies. The moderately jet-lagged friend who is Ozzy lives in China and is somehow in Annapolis. What the? Hee hee hee. Ben. <laughs> ben, it was a very kind package. Thank you very much. And now I have to try out this Tim Tam Slam. So let me get these instructions out. Tim Tam Slam. Step one. You need three things for a Tim Tam Slam. One, Tim Tams. Two, a hot beverage. Tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Three, a sense of adventure. Let me go grab some coffee because I, I would actually had some already. Coffee, check. Step two, prepare your beverage of choice and grab a Tim Tam. Now bite off the opposing corners of your biscuit. Oh, that's interesting. One, I'm dropping crumbs. Mmm, that is delicious. And I haven't even done the slam yet. So there we go, there's, there's that. Step three. Now take your prepared biscuit and use it as a straw for your drink. Ooh, interesting. I'm just gonna skip to step four, because I think this is important. Step four, be sure to eat the biscuit before it implodes in your hands. Yums. Now, rinse and repeat. Okay, yeah, it's good, good to know. <sighs> okay, here we go, let's see how this works. Tim Tam Slam. It's imploding! Oh, crap! Mmm. <laughs> well, it was working for a minute. I'm gonna have to try it again when I'm not making a fool of myself on camera, so... Uh, that, was, that was cool, though. I like it. It tasted good when it was working. Let's try Vegemite. Now, I know you said to try it with toast, but... I'm just gonna try it. And see what happens. It's brown. And that doesn't look very appetizing. It's good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think I need to try it with toast or something. Oh good, there's still Tim Tam in here. Ben, thank you. This was fun. It was really cool. Uh, glad I got to try some Aussie treats and uh, definitely gonna continue giving them both a go. So thank you. And uh, this, is, this is cool too. Whoops. On to the next package. So this is from Colton, who is uh, from Ontario. And I think it says that it's ukulele strings, so spoiler alert. He has some notes here on the back, that's kinda cool. Hey David, hey listen, hey, look to the left. Look to the right. Now back at the camera. Now back to the letter. Hey, now read. I'm sending you this letter to you half typed, half written because I hear you like handwritten letters, but I didn't want you to get too attached to it. Enjoy. Also, some major performances I did are a countywide talent show, a thousand people video on my YouTube page. I did open mics on ukulele and ocarina. I played Thriller by Michael Jackson, 143 by Jake Shima Bakuro. I was in a band that only played one show with me, which crashed, but it wasn't the best group. Well, I applaud you for giving it a shot. That's really cool. Currently, I'm trying to get a school band going at my school, but due to the new bill in Ontario, Bill 115, teachers can't supervise any non-extracurricular activities. Wow, that is weird. As you mentioned, how silly is that? All because it will save $2 billion. It's called Putting Students First Act 2012, but really, it's doing the opposite. Sort of like how the new YouTube layout is supposed to be user-friendly, or how Windows 8 is easy to use and more intuitive. There I go again. Tangent. Ha. <laughs> Anyways, I've been playing ukulele a lot more than I used to. Therefore, I need to replace my strings more often. So I thought, why just throw these things out if they were part of an important performance? Why not make them into something more? I pulled out the hot glue gun and got working, and in a bit I had a ukulele string bracelet. 
I've decided to send you one so you could wear it anytime you wish. The one I'm sending you is from when I went to live in British Columbia. It really means a lot to me and I hope you like it. I played these strings all the way there. That's very sweet, thank you, Colton. Actually, I'm gonna wear it for the rest of this video. If it fits. And then it gets really loose. There you go, awesome. Thanks for reading this letter, and if this is in episode 33, I will give you virtual ketchup chips. I hear you don't have those in the United States. If it isn't, I won't mind, even if episode 23 is fine. Thanks for reading, viewer and friend, Colton, aka Colton33music. P.S. I have my Twitter and Instagram all up and running, and I wish of you to follow me. I post interesting comments, questions, and pictures on my Twitter, and pictures of food, drinks, and music-related stuff on my Instagram. My Twitter and Instagram are at Colton33music. You heard it here first, go follow it. Colton, thank you very much for this, and you should be proud of yourself, sir. You are doing so much in music, it is extremely darn impressive. So, um, even if you crashed with that one band, try it again, um, that's really cool. He wasn't kidding when he said this was half written, because it literally is half written. Like, he, he put in one word pencil, and one word typed, and one word pencil, and one word typed. That is impressive. That's pretty cool. Thank you for this, Colton. Thank you for the bracelet. That is an awesome story. And um, congrats on all your musical endeavors. You are working so hard to get yourself out there and uh, at such a young age too. So that's awesome. Keep up the good work. Even if you crash like your band did, keep at it. Like music is my passion, and so I put everything into it, and I can definitely see that you're doing the same thing. So congratulations, sir, and keep up the good work. Next is a letter from Samuel, who is from Swanton, Ohio. And his letter says, Viva le Arc. I think I just butchered how I said la. And I'm Hispanic, that's a shame. Whoa, what is this? It's an image of me, but of numbers and letters. That's pretty cool. What's up, Doc? I've got two questions. First, I'm off looking to get an ocarina, but can't decide between the fairy ocarina or the baby dragon tooth. I wanted to know what you thought of these or another ocarina for beginners. Secondly, I wanted to know if there are any ocarina groups near Toledo, Ohio. Thanks. P.S. I'm on a budget of $60. And keep on doing videos. For your first question, uh, either of those ocarinas would be great. You probably got one of the, of the two by now, but um, personally, I like the fairy ocarina because it's Zelda related and I like Zelda. Uh, but at the same time, I like the dragon, baby dragon tooth because it's, I think it's really cute. Well, the plus about the baby dragon tooth is that it has the necklace. So I would probably go with that because I like ocarinas that you can wear around your neck and just kind of like wear it as an accessory or just like when you're walking around and people see it and show it off. So there's more potential for ocarina awareness. So personally, I would go with the baby dragon tooth. Unless you're an uber Zelda fan, then go with the fairy ocarina. Your second question, um, I don't know if there's any ocarina groups in Toledo or even in Ohio, but you can post uh, in the ocarina network and ask people there if there's any ocarina players in Toledo. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying it right. Toledo. <laughs> or if anybody watching this video is from Ohio, leave a comment below to let let them know that you are there, and uh, or on my Facebook page, uh, and on the Songbird Ocarina page too, because a lot of ocarina players check in there as well. Songbird Ocarina, Songbird Ocarina is on Facebook, and then me, Doctor S4. Thank you very much for your letter, and. Uh, Hope you got an ocarina that you liked. And then we have a letter from Bushido, which is the code of the samurai, right? Um, from Silverwood Forest, Unova. Is that a real place? And he's got these cool drawings in the back of, I don't know what that is. It looks like something covering a triforce, but then staff, Doc Jazz 4, and ocarinas, and then fist down at the bottom that says Akmel. So it's like Ishmael. Whoa. This is really interesting. It looks like... Check that out. That's cool. Looks like this letter's been through war. 
Dear David, I am absolutely in awe of your magnificent talent in music. I am currently in a band in my school in which where I play a bassoon, but I always try to find a way to sneak in my 12 full soprano ocarina from Songbird. It was you who enticed my mind to get such a beautiful instrument, and I send my deepest thanks. Enclosed within this parcel, you should find the following. A selection of Pokemon cards that I have chose to, del to deliver to you. This letter on parchment. That's why it looks cool. A box of confectionery, confectionery morsels, chocolates, a sketch from a traveler who seems to have been able to sketch me in the wilderness. Continue to dazzle and amaze your audience with magnificent music. Sincerely, Bushido, the Crimson Glade. P.S. Sorry for the sloppy handwriting. We have to use feather quills and termine. Ooh. Note one, chocolates absent due to shortage of space and envelope. Aw. That's okay. Here's the picture. It says, picture sketch near Great Bay East. That's cool. I think it's just becoming like a tradition to send me Pokemon cards. Even though that was like a joke at my very first video, but that's cool. So you sent me a Metadetite? No idea who that is. Mystery of his. Theldum. Abra, Abra, and a Shuppet. That's interesting, it's holographic. Thank you very much for your letter, the Pokemon cards, the almost chocolate and the sketch. It's very cool. Um, glad you are enjoying the ocarina and uh, your music playing the bassoon. Bassoons are awesome. And I uh, really appreciate you shooting off this cool letter. And I wish you the best playing and terminate with your bassoon and ocarina. <laughs> Thanks. That's it for this video, guys. Oh, dang it. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for all your letters again. I'm so sorry that it took so long to get to them, but next week, I'm gonna do my darndest to put out another mailbag video. I have like six more letters, so if you would like your letter to appear in, in the video in two weeks, go ahead and shoot me your letters, your packages, or Pokemon cards, or strange, tubes of yeast extract uh, to the address in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Check out the Kickstarter, support it if you can. Thanks guys.